This is chapter two, The Missing Pearl. Maria looked at the giant pearl and sighed. It was the most beautiful thing she'd ever seen. According to legend, anyone who owned the pearl would never grow old and could swim the oceans forever. Sharks guarded it day and night. The magical pearl was first prize in King Neptune's great seahorse race. The event was part of the king's 100th birthday celebrations. Marina was sure that she and her seal Swish could win. Marina had been preparing for months with Scuba, her trainer. Make sure Swish has an early night, she told him. As Marina swam off, a sneaky-looking pair peeked out from behind a rock. Our oh, slow coach of a seahorse won't stand a chance against Swish, whispered Sid the squid, and Marina is the ocean's best rider. The moment flicked by his side flicked at him and gave a wicked smile. We'll see about that, she said. What are you come to do, Storm? asked Sid. I have a plan that can't fail, she replied. That pearl is as good as ours. The next morning, the seahorses and their riders lined up for the big race. Marina gently stroked Swish's neck. You can do it, boy, she whispered. Storm looked across smugly at Marina. Then she turned and winked at her trainer. Well, Sid went back and swam away. The prawn started lowered his flag and they were off. Soon Swish and Marina were way ahead of the others. But Storm didn't look worried by, Marine, by Marina's lead. As Marina passed the reef, a, a cloud of thick black ink shot out in front of her. Quick as a flash, Swift, Swish leapt over the top. Marina lost hold of the reins as Swish sailed over the ink cloud. The others spotting the hazard ahead quickly swerved past. Look at you, such a good jumper, Swish, said Marina as she took the reins again. As they raced off, she just spotted an inky tentacle dart back into the coral. They soon caught up and went neck and neck with Storm as the finish line came in sight. With a final burst, Swish sped forward to win. Everyone clustered around Marina. Round to congratulate Marina. Everyone, except Storm that is, she was busy whispering something to Sid, who slivered off quickly. And a few minutes later, they were all in the cabin of the old shipwreck for the prize-giving ceremony. But they were in for a shock. The pearl had gone. The shark's guard searched everywhere, but the pearl was nowhere to be seen. It must have been stolen, cried Scuba. But how? asked the reader guard. This room was locked. The second guard pointed to a tiny pot porthole. That's the only other way in and out. But it's too small to get the pearl through, Sid. Then it must have been taken before we locked up, said Toofy. Who was the last one alone with the pearl? asked Storm with a glint in her eye. <gasps> Toofy pointed a fin at Marina. She only took part in the race, so we wouldn't suspect her, sneered Storm. Yeah, added Sid, waving his tentacles. She only won by chance. Marina desperately tried to think of a way to prove her innocence. Suddenly, Sid's dirty tentacles gave her an idea. I think the pearl is still in this room, she cried, pointing at a pile of old cannibals. She frantically rubbed each one with a seaweed necklace. Look, this one isn't a cannonball at all, she declared. The pearl, gasped the crowd, covered in squid ink, added Marina, staring at Sid. You made me do it, cried Sid, pointing at Storm. I had to disguise the pearl so Storm could collect it later. Just you stupid squid, yelled Storm, but it was too late. The two crooks were led away and Marina was presented with her magical pearly prize.